The three pillars of Orc society are fighting, DACA, and speed. This little buggy has all three. Let's talk tactics, Megatrack Scrap Jets. Anvil of War! Let's talk tactics! Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about probably one of the coolest looking of the new Orc vehicles, uh, the most Orky by for sure. And that's the Megatrack Scrapjet. Uh, so the Megatrack Scrapjet is uh, one of the new buggies that was released back in October, uh, which was actually released in November. <laughs> and uh, for stats, it's got a 10-inch move. Uh, it's weapon skills 4 plus. Ballistic skill is 5 plus. It has strength and toughness of 6 with 4 attacks. It has 9 wounds, leadership 6, and it has a 4-up armor save. All right, so for equipment options, well, they don't have any options. They just come with what it says on the data sheet. So it has the nose drill. It has its two twin big shooters. It has its rocket cannon. And then it has its wing missiles. Um, the twin big shooters are just two big shooters strapped together. So they're assault six, strength five, no AP, one damage. The nose drill is plus two to its strength, negative two AP, and it's D3 damage. So it, it's sort of like a power fist you would find on a Marine or something like that with swinging at strength eight. And then the, uh, the rocket cannon and the wing missiles, um, they have the same base stats. What changes is their, um, their hit mechanics and stuff like that. So they're both strength eight, negative two with flat three damage. The rocket cannon is just two D3 shots. And the wing missile is one shot but it's plus one to hit vehicles and minus one to hit everything else. So it gives you a little bit more accuracy, which is nice to see with our orc vehicles, uh, or orcs in general, really. Um, hitting 50% of the time is always, always pretty tasty, especially because you're not suffering that, uh, that movement penalty, as both all these weapons are assault weapons, right? All right. For special rules, uh, this guy has a Grot Gunner, uh, so both the twin big shooters uh, are hitting at plus one. Um, to their to their hit rolls, which is nice because you have a Grot who's better at shooting, gets even more shots hitting at that better four up to hit than the typical orc five plus ballistic skill. Uh, the other option or the other rules it has here we go, which is uh, common across all the orc codex as long as it's not a Grot, and that basically allows you to reroll any or all charge dice, which just helps us get into melee faster and it's really helpful to uh, to start blending stuff up. The other rule, speed mob, is uh, it's a deployment rule because these things can be taken in squadrons of one to three, but they don't stay together. So you purchase them as a squadron, they deploy as a squadron, but then they split up after deployment and can, they can leave coherency and do their own thing. Um, they have daka daka daka, which is another orc staple. Uh, you're hitting on or your sixes to hit, grant additional hits, or sorry. They automatically hit regardless of modifiers, and they grant an additional shot with that weapon. And then the spiked ram rule um, is to symbolize its its nose drill, and this is something that a couple of the buggies share, is that when it finishes a charge move, you pick a unit within an inch of it, and then on a 4+, plus, that unit takes D3 mortal wounds, um, which is, mortal wounds are always great, and then when you compound that with the fact that it's swinging with essentially a power fist after it makes its charge. It, it lets you get that little bit extra damage through onto whatever you're trying to hurt. There's only really the one unit synergy that they have, and that is the, the Death Killer War Trike. Now, he allows vehicles and bikes within six inches of him to advance and charge. Uh, so he's essentially... War bosses do that for infantry. He does it for all our, all our mounted stuff, and he can keep up with them. So again... You're seeing the, uh, the the running theme here with this this um, scrap jet is you want it to get into melee because you want to start grinding things up with that nose drill. So he helps you get that faster. And because all its weapons are assault weapons, even though you're taking that penalty, you can still fire on the way in unless you take a certain clan. And that clan is Evil Sons. So Evil Sons is a natural clan to run with uh, your speed freaks of any kind because unlike with regular orc units where it just gives plus one to their movement... This gives plus two to your movement, and then it also adds plus one to your advance and charge rolls. On top of that, you ignore the penalty for advancing and firing with assault weapons, and all this guy has are assault weapons. So, Evil Sons are definitely the way to the most competitive choice if you're trying to run that cult of speed, Mad Max style orc army, which everyone loves, and everyone wants to start an orc army whenever they watch Fury Road for some reason. 
<laughs> um, other clans, though, because there are a few that uh, that can benefit the scratch in particular. The other big one is Death Skulls because Death Skulls favor small unit sizes because they grant you rerolls to, or they grant you a single reroll to hit, to wound, and for damage every time a unit fires. So the scrap jets, because they split up on deployment, they're counted as separate units if you take those three per fast attack slot. So that'll give you, for each scrap jet you have, that'll give you one hit reroll, one wound reroll, and one damage reroll. Um, now because our damages are fixed at either one or three, Correction, they actually, it actually will affect your scrap jets uh, in the, um, with the damage roll because the Death Skulls can get those rerolls in the shooting or the fight phase or whenever it shoots or fights. So that damage roll could affect your D3 damage for your nose drill attack. Uh, the wound obviously helps you punch through with those rockets because you want those to land home with their flat three damage. And the hit roll can also help with the rockets because, I mean, Big shooters are fine. They're they're really cool at like nick and wounds off chaff units and stuff like that. But uh, the the main ranged threat from this comes from the rockets, and that's where you want to maximize it. So the Death Skulls are actually a clan to consider if you're not running Evil Sons or if you're running Death Skulls. Then maybe a Scrap Jet is something to consider because it's it's a cheap enough unit. It can run around. It can knock some wounds off things. It can tie things up. Um, I love them. I have two. I'm looking for a third. <laughs> um, other clans. Those are the two big clans. Now, the Bad Moons are always good for any ranged vehicle or any ranged unit in the Orc army because it gives you reroll ones to hit, which is very hard to find in, orc, uh, in, in the Orc Codex. So that's that's really nice to see. Um, it helps you proc those sixes to hit for your Daka Daka Daka. It just helps you land more hits in general. Maybe not as useful for the, um, for the Scrap Jet as Death Skulls, but still pretty useful. Uh, so it's always something to consider. Now... Personally, I don't run any of those three, and we'll get to that in a second. I run my um, scrap jets as goths because that nose drill is pretty cool, and I always want to get more hits in with it than I, or more as many hits in with it as I can. So the goths uh, clan culture lets you proc additional attacks with the same weapon on sixes to hit. So it's similar to daka daka daka, only it applies to the fight phase or whenever the unit is, uh, whenever the unit fights. Um, so you're suddenly taking your nose drill, which is swinging four times at strength eight, neg two, d3 damage. Any sixes to hit with that are now propping additional attacks. So it helps you get more and more in. And there's a, uh, there's a certain custom job courtesy of, uh, the new Psychic Awakening Saga of the Beast that really lends itself to scrap jets. And it, you'll, you might start seeing more scrap jets on the tabletop because of this. So the custom job, uh, you pay a command point for it at the beginning of the battle, unless you bought a mech shop, in which case you get a single custom job for free. But if you didn't bring the mech shop, you got to pay for it before the battle. And because it's done pre-game, you can do it as many times as you want for as many vehicles as you want in your army for as many times or for as many command points as you have. Um, now the one that pertains to specifically to the scrap jets is called the corkscrew, and uh, it's just, it puts this image in my head of this this. Uh, giant ram that's like nose cone just corking through corkscrewing through the enemy lines um and it just it brings a brings a happy tear to my eye <laughs> to think how happy that orc pilot is um and uh what it does is it allows a um megatrack scrap jet with it to immediately fight again after the first time it consolidates so you're basically getting fight twice for free with your Megatrack Scrap Jet. So you're turning those four attacks into eight, maybe more if you're taking Goths and they're exploding. And the really cool thing right now about custom jobs is pending any FAQs with speed mobs, it affects the entire unit because it is purchased for them pre-game and they only split up after deployment. So rules is written right now you pay one command point and you give, can give up to three Megatrack Scrap Jets the Corkscrew upgrade. So that's eight attacks each. That's the eight Power Fist attacks each, essentially, um, with the option to explode if you're running Goffs or what have you. Um, so that's where I, that's the train of thought I'm going in with my melee focused Scrap Jets, even though they have all this DACA, which is nice. It can soften up things as you go in. But I want them in melee, I want them tying things down, I want them grinding away and corkscrewing through the enemy ranks, um, spraying blood and gore everywhere. And it's just, it's, it's lovely. <laughs> um, 
There is one other custom job with the that I could see could affect the scrap jets in a in a better way. Now that's um, the squig hide tires. So these can be applied to any battle wagon, truck, or cult of speed unit, and it basically adds plus two to your movement. So now you're going from movement ten to movement twelve, maybe even to movement fourteen if you took them as evil sons and they got that plus two to their movement. So now you have this fourteen inch move. You could potentially advance and charge because you have your Death Kill War Trike coming along with you. It, it's just... You can get you can get some really quick units with this. I just feel it's better served maybe on other buggies or on a big blob of now bikers or something like that. So it's an honorable mention for sure, but it's not uh, it's not nearly as lucrative as the, uh, the corkscrew. Um, out of the vanilla or codex, though, there's not really many stratagems that can... Um, benefit buggies in general, let alone the Megatrack Scrapjet. There's two that I found, they're very situational, but they, they could be useful. And that's if, say you get screwed in your deployment and you have no way to hide your Megatrack Scrapjets, there's no cover available for you, you have to deploy them. You can pay the one command point for uh, the unit, or yeah, for the unit before it moves, and then um, neg one to hit with billowing exhaust clouds. So, again, that's probably better served for your bigger bike units or, or whatever else, or maybe your squishier um, buggies. Uh, but it's always there for these guys if you're dead set on keeping them alive. And uh, the other one is ramming speed. Also situational. It's two command points, but it allows you to roll 3d6 inches for your charge and keep all three of them. Now, remember, you can re-roll any or all of these because of here we go. So you're, you're guaranteed to make those big, long charges, almost guaranteed to make those big, long charges. And in addition, when you make contact, any unit within one inch of them, you roll a dice, and on a two plus, they take D3 mortal wounds. So now you're getting it from your spiked ram special rule on a four plus, and then you're also getting it from the ramming speeds that are the ramming speed stratagem on a two up. Um, you roll twice. If you get both, that's 2d3 mortal wounds on top of whatever else your corkscrew or your regular uh, nose drill could be doing. Um, but 2cp is a lot for a single unit or a single buggy to get that with its four attacks. It might be better served on something like a Gorkonaut or a Battle Wagon. But again, it's there if you want to use it. Anyway, I, I love my Scrap Jets. They're like one of my favorite buggies. Um... They look really cool. They could have some teeth potentially going forward. Um, if I missed anything at all, if you guys have had even better success with your scrap jets, if you have any tips, tricks that I didn't cover here, be sure to leave those down below or comment on our social media. Let everyone else know. Let myself know. I'm always looking to learn. And uh, have a good day, guys. Thanks. Sponsored by... <laughs>